Do you write a journal? Want to start one or make it a habit? In this video, I'll show you how to use Notion to make journaling part of your life. It's easy to add text, images, or even videos, and neatly store all of your entries together for future reading and review. Here's what your Notion journal could look like. All of the entries are neatly listed, sorted newest to oldest, and can even be dated and tagged. You can click on any entry to view its content. I'll show you how to get to this, as well as how to quickly add new journal entries. First, I'll click on the New Page button at the bottom of the sidebar and create a new page called Journal. Then I'll add an icon to this page to make it easier to find when I need it. This drop-down menu at the top lets you specify where you want your new page to be added. Let's choose Private Pages so that it goes into the private section of the sidebar, which is for your eyes only. Great! Now you can find it here. We'll nest all of our journal entries inside this top level page. These are already existing journal entries, which I would like to move into my journal page. To do this, I can grab any entry, then drag and drop it anywhere inside the page. I can also use drag and drop to rearrange entries however I want. And of course, I can click any entry to see what I've written. As an example, here's a journal entry from the Diary of Anna Isnin. You can add more complex types of content to your entries, like photos, quotes, and songs. Just drag and drop any image into your page. Hit forward slash quote to bring up the quote option. You can even embed a song or album from Spotify. That's the simplest way to create a journal in Notion. But there's also a way, which I'll show you, to build something a bit more robust using a list database like this one. The beauty of the list database for keeping a journal is that it's simple. But it still lets you display any information you want about each entry, like the date you created it, any helpful tags, etc. This also makes it easy to sort, filter, and search your entries as you add more. To start, create a new page, just like last time. Only now, select List from the menu of options. You'll see three empty pages pop up. You can turn these into your first three journal entries by giving them a title and adding content inside them. Or you can just delete them and start from scratch. Let's create our first entry. Click the blue New button and a new page will pop up. At the top, you can define the properties you want to display about each entry. You'll see that time created and tags are already there at the top. You can define your own tags by typing whatever you want them to be in this field. Let's say you want to tag entries where you talked about travel, or entries where you talked about work. Create them once and use them on any entry going forward. Maybe you want to add a property, like a file upload for anything you want to store with your journal entry. You do this by clicking Add Property, and voila! You can choose which properties you want displayed in your list by clicking the Properties menu and toggling them on. You can toggle them off to hide them. You can also use this menu to add new properties to your database. Here's what my journal could look like with more entries. A couple other quick things I'll show you. Should you wish to standardize your journal format every day, you can do that with database templates. Just click the arrow at the right of the blue button and choose New Template. You can also add tags that you want to automatically add to certain entries too. Call the template New Entry and you're done! Now when we create a new page, you'll see the option to apply that template with one click. You can create templates for many different types of entries in your database, not just one. Lastly, you can make sure your journal is always in order from most recent to oldest. 
click sort at the top, choose the time created property, and sort it so it's descending. And don't forget you can treat database pages like any other page with emoji icons and dragging and adding any images, videos, or other content. And you can always change your mind later if you want to use a regular page instead of a database or vice versa. If this last part seems too advanced to you, don't fret. You don't need to be a Notion expert from day one. You can always visit our Help Center or view our database tutorials to learn more about the things you can build with us. We hope this helps you take your journaling habit to the next level.